Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to form an Elasticsearch cluster or simply add a node to an existing cluster. As you know, when you install Elasticsearch, it is uh, or it creates a default cluster called Elasticsearch and it's composed of one node only. So you can later on add more nodes to that cluster. Uh, it's recommended to have three nodes or more uh, in my lab setup here at home, I started with one node and then I added another one. And I'm going to demonstrate adding a third node to my cluster. So I'm going to start here. As you can see on my Kibana web, um, web interface or user interface. Under management stack monitoring, I have this cluster. I call it Fortified. It's healthy because data is replicated on two nodes i added a node i'm going to add a third node uh, the most important part is that the elastic search version on the new node has to be the same you can't join a cluster a node can join a cluster if it's on a different uh, version so basically what i did is just went here to install elastic search and I have a new node here with Elasticsearch installed. You can check out my other video on how I installed Elasticsearch. So basically right now, this node is a separate node. And it gives you this all of this information. And then it says here, if this node should join an existing cluster, you can reconfigure this with this command. Right here if in this directory, if you run Elasticsearch reconfigure node enrollment token and you put the token, it will join an existing cluster. So where do we get this token from? At the bottom here of the uh, documentation, when you install Elasticsearch, it says reconfigure a node to join an existing cluster. On any node of your existing cluster, generate a node enrollment token. So we have to generate this token and then run this command right here, ask search reconfigure node on the new node. Okay. But first of all, I'm going to set the node name on the new node. So I have, um, if you remember from my other videos, I have this one. I called it chamber one. This is uh node number one for me and then i added chamber two and today i'm wor working on chamber three so i'm going to so this is a, a fresh installation of elasticsearch i'm going to the elasticsearch yaml file and what i need here is the cluster name it has to be exactly the same as the other one so i called it Fortified. I need a node name. And I need to keep these as defaults and the network host, which is the IP of this node. Will be one or two. And port ninety two hundred. So that's all I need to set in the Elasticsearch YAML file. I'm going to save this file. The next thing I want to do is open the ports on the firewall. I need to open port 9200. Elasticsearch listens on port 9200 TCP. And I'm going to open port 9300 TCP because that's how the nodes communicate. So I'm going to say firewall add port 9200 TCP dash dash. Run the same command but with 9300. I'm going to say firewall and we can just double check here. I have 9200 and 9300 TCP open. After that, I'm going to the main node 
the first node I have, or an existing cluster, basically. And I'm gonna run this run this command. And before I do the dash s option and node, it's gonna type the help uh, option to see what it it means, what it does. So it creates an enrollment token, and the asterisk here means this is a required option. With at dash s is the scope, the scope of this enrollment. Uh, token can be either node or Kibana. So we want to add a node. So I'm gonna run dash s. I say node. And we have an enrollment token generated. So I'm gonna copy that. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna grab this command right here. So copy the enrollment token, which is output on your terminal, to your terminal. On your new Elasticsearch node, pass the enrollment token as a parameter to the Elasticsearch reconfigure node tool. So I'm going to run this command here. And we're going to copy paste that token on the new, uh, on the new node. So bring this here. Copy, paste. So we're doing Elasticsearch, reconfigure node, dash dash enrollment token, and the enrollment token. Press enter. And I'm gonna see if this, oh, it's not gonna add them yet. Uh, it will say, this node will be reconfigured to join an existing cluster using the enrollment token that you provided. This operation will overwrite the existing configuration specifically security auto configuration will be uh, removed from Elasticsearch YAML the certs config directory will be removed security auto configuration related secure settings will be removed from the Elasticsearch.key store so basically it will configure everything for us for the existing node I'm going to say yes and it will do its thing and the last thing I need to do is to start the Elasticsearch service, or basically start Elasticsearch on this new node. And to do that, we have those commands right here. I'm gonna put this window to the side. Copy, paste to the new node. Enable Elasticsearch service. And I'm gonna start it and I'm gonna go right away to the Kibana interface right here. I'm gonna press enter. And this should become three nodes right here after it starts the service. System control status Elasticsearch. It is active. I'm gonna refresh it's refreshing every 10 seconds automatically so i'm just gonna wait for a bit or just click refresh and we have three nodes right here which is what we want well right now it's not showing up because we're monitoring node one and node two with metric beat i have another video on how to install metric beat to monitor Elasticsearch. you can check that out i will uh, link it in the description uh, so i will do that on the third node so that I can see the three nodes here and I can monitor them all but currently I have three nodes in the cluster chamber three or node number three joined successfully I'm going to start metric beat service metric beat start So I installed metric beat and I'm going to start the service now. So everything's configured properly, system control status metric beat. Okay, 
and I can see the third node right here in the Kibana UI uh, just showed up. Okay, and I can click on it and look at all the metrics of this node. And again, you can check my other video on installing Metric Beat to monitor Elasticsearch. So now I have a cluster of three nodes. And those three nodes are now monitored with Metric Beat. And my data can now replicate between the nodes so that I have high availability. I won't be losing data if uh, a node uh, dies. And the, the health of the cluster will say will, will be green because that is replicated. Shards are uh, not unassigned. So in this video, I configured an Elasticsearch node to join an existing cluster. It's a fairly simple process. I used uh, enrollment tokens. Now I have a three node cluster and the disk available is basically the disk available on all three together. And you can see the disk usage is out of that total amount. I also configured metric beat on the new node so that I can um, monitor all of the nodes here on the Kibana UI. And you can see here the shards are perfectly balanced between the nodes. So now I have high availability. If a node dies, I can um, I still have access to all of the data. And this is everything for this video. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.